<تصفيق> السلام عليكم ذا ماسك قرب كليم زياد قران كوبد ذا ستوري اوف ذي القرنين فروم ذا بوك اوف الكساندر رومانس هافينج ريد ذا ديفرنت فيرجنز اوف وات ريمينز اوف ذا الكساندر رومانس ليجندز سم اوف ويتش هاف بين لوست اوفر تايم جريت سو ناو يو ار كونفيرمينج ذات ذا بوك اوف الكساندر رومانس هاف ديفرنت فيرجنز اوكي Now let's see if you are being honest with your viewers and if you will tell them from which version you are reading. Proskynesis was a Persian method of worship. Let me ask the Muslims watching this. Does this look familiar? Except for the last stage of Persian proskynesis with the entire body lying face down, it's pretty much exactly what Muslim prayers eventually became as well. You also forgot that number 4, 3 and 2 are not similar to the Muslim prayer. And what if a certain prayer before Prophet Muhammad is similar to the Muslim prayer? What is wrong with that? As Muslims, we believe that Allah sent a messenger to every nation. Like for example, the Persians have texts which clearly command them to worship God alone. Yet they corrupted these teachings and worshipped the fire. The Hindus also have clear texts which command them to worship God alone. Yet they corrupted these teachings and worshipped 300 million idols. Christians also have clear teachings to worship God alone. Even Prophet Jesus clearly said according to their own book to worship God alone. Yet they corrupted these teachings and worshipped Jesus himself, even though his message was clear to worship God alone. Remember that next time you're in a mosque. You're simply seeing an ancient Persian ritual of worship. The picture you are seeing is not even a prayer. It is a Persian method of bowing down to kings. It's not even a prayer as he says. Not something new and unique to Islam. And who said to you that we Muslims believe that Prophet Muhammad invented a new religion? Who said to you that we believe that Prophet Muhammad brought something new? You don't even understand our belief to criticize it. We believe that Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. He didn't bring something original or new. Even Allah says this. كل ما كنت بدعا من الرسل. Say I'm not something original among the messengers. We also saw in an earlier video how the Quran appears to borrow the idea of the sun setting into a muddy spring from a pre-Islamic poem by Tubba. Tubba even wrote a poem for praising Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. We also see this verse. Do you not see that Allah has made subservient to you whatsoever is in the earth and the ships running in the sea by his command? And he withholds the heaven from falling on the earth except with his permission. So as we can see from these Quranic verses, the sky is being held up above our heads. It would fall down onto us if it weren't for God keeping it up. is very similar to the story in the Quran. Is it just a pure coincidence? I mean, so far, both the Alexander myths and the Quran say a man known as the man with two horns traveled all over the world. Both say he saw the sun rising above a people who had no shelter from it. Both say he went to mountains to see a people who were complaining about Gog and Magog. Now the Quran says he used iron and brass to build the barrier to keep Gog and Magog out. So let's see what materials were used in the myth to keep Gog and Magog at bay. Alexander commanded and fetched 3,000 smiths, workers in iron, and 3,000 men, workers in brass. And they put down brass and iron, and kneaded it as a man needs when he works clay. Then they brought it and made a gate. Now, in the Quran, we also hear that Gog and Magog will break free from their incarceration towards the end of time and cause havoc on earth, an idea supported in the authentic hadiths. The verse says, until the Gog and Magog people are let through their barrier, and they swiftly swarm from every hill. Now the Alexander myth also tells us Gog and Magog will be released towards the end of time, and also take over the world. When the world shall come to an end by the command of God the ruler of creation, created things shall anger God, and sin shall increase, and wrath shall reign, and the sins of mankind shall mount up and shall cover the heavens, and the Lord will stir up in his anger the kingdoms that lie within this gate. For when the Lord seeks to slay man, he sends men against men, and they destroy one another. And the Lord will gather together the kings and their their hosts which are within this mountain, and they shall be assembled at his beck, and shall come with their spears and swords, and shall stand behind the gate, and shall look up to the heavens, and shall call upon the name of the Lord, saying, O Lord, open to us this gate. And the Lord shall send his sign from heaven, and a voice shall call on this gate, and it shall be destroyed and fall at the beck of the Lord. What we just read also encapsulates this idea in an authentic hadith, which tells us the barrier will be breached after they ask nicely to Allah. Okay. So now what he is doing is that he is reading verses from Quran and comparing them with passages from Alexander Romans, claiming that Quran copied from Alexander Romans. But did he even tell his viewers from which version of Alexander Romans he is reading? The version which he is reading from is the Syriac version of Alexander Romans, which was written in the 7th century. This version which he is reading from was written in the 7th century after Quran. And here are the evidences from a book named Gog and Magog in Early Eastern Christian and Islamic Sources, page number 17. The Syriac tradition, it dates from the 7th century. The Syrian redactor, probably an Eastern Syrian Christian, 
ادد اسئله النمبر تو ذا تكست ذا ابيسود اوف الكسندرز بيلدينج ا وول اجينست جوج اند ماجوج هاو ايفر از نوت فاوند ان ذا اولدست جريك لاتين ارمينيان اند سيرياك فيرجنز اوف ذا رومانز ذا بارير ابيسود هاز نوت اتس اوريجن ان ذيس تكست ويتش كليرلي مينز ذات ذا ستوري اوف جوج اند ماجوج ان ذا بوك اوف الكسندر رومانز ووز ادد ان ذا 7th سنتري اولسو فروم ان ارتيكل باي توبينجن يونيفرستي ات از ويل نون ذات الكسندر ابييرز ان ذا قران سوره 18 اندر ذا نيم اوف ذو القرنين This episode is not found in the oldest form of the Greek Alexander Romans. It was only interpolated to it. Interpolated. Interpolated means that it was added, added. In page 8 of the same source, the legend of Alexander's shutting in of Gog and Magog is also found in the Apocalypse of Pseudo Macedius, which is interpretation of the Arab conquest. Interpretation of the Arab conquest. This simply means that it was copied from Quran. This work also was composed in Syriac, sometime in the last quarter of the 7th century. This clearly means that the story of Gog and Magog in the book of Alexander Romans was written in the last quarter of the 7th century after the revelation of Quran and the source clearly here says that it was interpretation of the Arab conquest and who were the Arab conquerors Muslims of course so as we can clearly see that this guy is not being honest and should not be trusted